This is an overview of the card carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the card carousel widget inside of your Elementor column. This widget consists of slides. Each slide has a separator, an image, a title, a description, and a call to action button. The carousel also has navigation arrows and navigation bullets. I'm going to take you over all the settings and show you how to customize them. So first of all, you can decide if this carousel will be in a loop or not. You can turn off the autoplay and it will stop playing automatically. I'm going to turn it on just for demonstration purposes. You can decide to show the arrows or not by turning on and off this radio button. And you can decide to turn on and off the bullets down here if you want to do that. So number of items is for how many items are displaying. We can change this parameter to two, for example. And now only two items are showing instead of three. This is a responsive field. So if we're going to jump into a different screen resolution, I can decide that on this screen resolution, I want to show three. I'm going to jump back into desktop. And over here we have transition speed, which is how long it takes for the transition to occur. This is in milliseconds, so you can change this. This is one second right now, so I'm going to change it to two seconds, just so you can see the difference. It's just going to be a bit slower. And autoplay interval, it means how long it takes for each autoplay to occur. So for example, if it's going to be six seconds, that's times two, and it will be a lot slower. Text decoration is for RTL languages. You don't need to touch this. And the margin between the items is the space over here. Let's change the number of items back to three. And now I can make the spacing between them bigger by changing this value. This is looking awesome. I'm going to jump into items just to show you how you can manage this. So this is regular Elementor items that you can open. You have a title, content, button text, an image, and a link for each item. So it's pretty easy to manage. And later on, I'm going to show you how to take off the button overall. So if you don't want a button, you don't need to put in some button text or a link. This uh, widget adapts to any image size. So it doesn't matter what image I'm going to add. You can see that it crops it uh, automatically and you can play around with the size inside of the style tab. Of course, you can delete items, duplicate items and add new items. Let's jump into style and over here we can decide how we want our text to be aligned. So for example, I'm going to change the text to left alignment. You can determine the item shadow, item border color. Right now the border is on zero. So if we'll change it to two, for example, you can see that now there's a border around our items. I changed the color of the border to black and you can determine a background color for the content area. You can determine the content padding. So if you want to push everything a little bit more inside, so let's push that to 40 pixels just so you can see how it looks. So that's how we pushed the content over here. Let's turn off the autoplay inside of content. I'm going to turn off the autoplay just so it won't be annoying as I'm demonstrating. So back to the style tab and now we can change the slide radius. So I'm going to push that and look how awesome this makes the slide rounded. Let's go for a value of 20 pixels and I'm going to jump into the top decoration section over here. This is the top decoration. If you have some kind of primary color in your website, you can just give it that color. It will give a little subtle design to your carousel. You can determine how wide this is going to be, how thick it's going to be, and you can play around with this to get an awesome design. If you don't want it overall, you can just push this down to zero and it won't show. I'm going to leave it at 10 and I'm going to choose a purplish color, purple bluish color. Inside of the image, we can determine how rounded the image is going to be. So I'm going to make it as rounded as the as the slide itself. We can determine the image height by pushing the slider or inputting a value that we want over here. 
image padding so this is the padding for the image the reason we split this from the content padding is because sometimes you want you're going to want your image to be full width so that's why we split it into two different values i'm going to give the same padding as i gave for the content and now we have double padding because we have 40 over here and 40 over here so i'm going to unlink and the bottom value i'm going to set to zero and now everything is aligned and set and our padding isn't double padding inside of the title we can determine the title spacing if you want to space something out color and typography same exact settings we have for the text i'm not going to touch these because they're pretty simple inside of button we can make our button radius rounded you can determine the button width by pushing up the padding so i'm going to change the padding for example to 40 and 40 on the left and right and you can see how that makes our button even wider colors i'm not going to touch right now but you can change all of the colors for the border the background and the text inside you can push up the border width if you want it to be a little bit thicker let's go for two like the thickness around our slides and you can change the button spacing if you want to push the button from the text let's change this for example to 30 so it's not as close or you can even decide to not show your button at all sometimes you don't want these to be call to action you just want them to be static content so you can do that let's even turn these off right now and inside of navigation arrows we can design our navigation however we want Right now, it's spaced 20 pixels from the side. What's nice about this is you can give it a negative value. So, for example, if I get it minus 100, it moves minus 100 pixels from the slides, and now it's not on top of the sides, it's beside them. Never a position, so you can move the position from the top. I'm going to try to center these to the image, and I'm going to make them rounded like a circle by pushing up the nav arrow radius as much as I can. And over here, we have an option to make these bigger or smaller, and the icon inside, you can also make bigger or smaller. And over here, we have all the options to change the colors and the hover colors of the icon and the uh, circle itself. Nav bullets are these bullets down here. So right now you can see the color is black, but for example, if I wanted it to be as my website color bluish so I can change that to a bluish color and we can push these from the slides just so they won't be so close or maybe even make them closer depending on your design. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.